don't appreciate eventually how they're thrown in jail because people community <coughs> are overcome with what they're doing and don't appreciate them at the end of midnight. They're praying and singing praise to God and, and the, the jailer obeys the gospel with his whole household. But you know, the beautiful thing of that beginning, they heard the call, they responded to it. In 11 years, Paul writes to this congregation to have bishops and deacons. He talks about their progress and joy in the faith and how they had always obeyed the gospel, not in his presence only, but even after he, he left. And he referred to them as his beloved, his longed for. And, you know, there's a call for us today. We don't know where one little thing would do. Like when I went out and talked to that family out in the boonies and the beer cans everywhere and knocking on the door, and I wonder, why am I here? You know, I didn't know that eventually, you know, there would be 12 people who made the gospel from that. And this family could return of their sins, change their life, and begin worshiping God in the spirit and the truth. But there's such a need out there. All that sin to come short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death. And how do you feel about people? You know, they have no hope. They're without God in the world. And as next week we think about ourselves as personal workers and characteristics of a personal worker, I've got to have faith in God. I've got to have faith in His Word. I've got to have some faith in people that they want to do what's right. But you know, and then I've got to get out there and do something about it. But I, you think about somebody who, who you know that's not a Christian that needs to obey the gospel. And there's many calls that we have to get out there and do the work of the Lord. And get out there and hand out the tracts. You know, the congregation can make so many things available. Uh, have you invited, who have you invited lately to Bible school? Who have you invited to come and worship with you? I know it's all about Bremen, Ohio there, and that work. And, I remember we started focusing on Wednesday night and inviting others to come and study the Bible. And we were having more people on Wednesday night than Sunday morning. And I remember a dear sister asking, well, you know, where are all these people coming from? How can you have more people on Wednesday night than you have on Sunday morning? And I said, well, why don't you come and see? <laughs> and my answer to her. But it was because we were inviting people. They're not having services. We can bring their children into Bible study. So you know, you think about how many things we can do to... We just need to ask people and reach out with the Bible call. And I would challenge you this week, you know, call those lessons every day. We're going to have an installation tomorrow here in the building and a local number, but these numbers are all active, so call and maybe take a look at the Bible courses so you are aware of what that is. So when you offer to people, you say, I studied that. I found it a blessing. Uh, maybe you'd want to do that. Would you, would you study? You know, become familiar with these things. And that's become... Uh, think about when you would want to get together to study more about doing evangelism, whether Sunday night before services or after services, to really see how to do it, or whether it be in somebody's home. But think about that and let us know uh, what you want to do and how we can help you and encourage you. If you have questions about Bible call, let me know. If you want to study with somebody in your home, I'm always willing to go, and Freddie is too. And we've been, I want you to look on YouTube this week. There's some lessons there uh, that I put up on Evangelism Realized. So look at Evangelism Realized on YouTube. And some lessons a years ago Brother Mick and I did on the need for doing organized personal work. Now when you listen to that, you better have your work shoes on because they're going to stomp on you. Uh, I'll just forewarn you about that. But listen to them, and then next week let me know what you gained out of it, what stood out to you. But I appreciate the time this morning and the interest.